Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Uh, if you you may or may not know, but I'm based out of the wonderful state of Minnesota. Has its pros, has its cons. Uh, in general, in this state, we have extremely good permit to carry law. Uh, you know, barring constitutional carry, we, we have the next best thing, in my opinion. Uh, looked at a lot of different states, looked at a lot of different places. We, we really have some really good laws here in Minnesota. And one of the things that makes Minnesota permit to carry law so great is that when it comes to the shooting qualification exercise for your permit to carry course, there is no state mandated uh, shooting qualification. As a permit to carry instructor, I and any other permit to carry instructor in the state makes up their own qualification. Uh, I'm sure there are other states like that out there as well, and I know that there are a couple states that uh, have a state mandated qualification, right? So <clears throat> I've run into a couple people now where they had a spouse or a friend or whatever who went to a permit to carry course in the state of Minnesota and they failed the shooting qualification for that class. So they did not get their certificate of completion, which you need to go there for and apply for your permit to carry in our state. And every time I hear that, I get mad. I get really, really mad. Because there is no state mandated qualification, like I just said. So what that means is that instructor made up in completely arbitrary qualification and then is failing people in that qualification. Now you might say, what's so wrong with that, Dylan? Uh, here's the deal. As an instructor, right, as a firearm instructor, and if you're a firearm instructor, or if you go to see a firearm instructor, which you should, my job, their job, is to help you succeed. If you walk away from a class having your spirit crushed, was that a good class for you? Right? The answer is no. Now, maybe you think this should be different, but the facts are, uh, for most people, the vast majority of people, permit to carry is the entry point, right? You go to a concealed carry class because you want to buy a gun, especially in Minnesota, you, you need your permit in order to purchase a firearm or get your permit to purchase, but permit to carry is an easier way to go. So for a lot of people, that is their very first gun class ever. And it might be their only one. Should they go on and take more courses? Yes. However, the, that is probably their first course ever. So you have a group of people who are coming in who are untrained, haven't shot a lot in the past, or haven't shot seriously a lot in the past, and now they're expected to pass your arbitrary shooting qualification that you made up in order for you to think that they're good enough to have their rights under the Constitution of the United States. If someone fails your course, you are a failed instructor. That's just the way it is. You're not a teacher. You, you become a bureaucrat evaluator, kind of like a mall cop or maybe a meter maid that makes sure someone checks all the boxes and makes sure that they're good enough to carry and whatever you think you get to determine who has their rights and who doesn't? You should either change and be a real teacher. Your job as a teacher is to help people succeed. That's your job. It, 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 I'm not talking about people that have state mandated courses, although I'll tell you what, if you have a state mandated course and you're a permit to carry instructor, your goal should be that every single one of your students passes that. You should do everything in your power to help people pass that. I'm not saying you should lie or cheat or anything like that, but I am saying you should equip them and empower them to pass those tests so that they can have their God-given rights. And if you put a barrier between anybody and their rights, I have no respect for you, and you certainly don't belong in teaching people how to shoot guns. Uh, you certainly don't respect the Constitution, and you certainly don't enjoy living in America. Again, you're a bureaucrat. You do really well in a socialist country somewhere. So the idea that you would place these extra barriers, when enough barriers already exist between me and my rights, and you want to add more to that, makes me sick. The worst, of course, is when it's police chiefs that do it. They put on permit to carry classes. I, I had that happen here, where a police chief down at so-and-so a town put on this permit to carry course, and then they failed people because they couldn't pass the police shooting standards or whatever. First of all, I can out-shoot you blindfolded. 
Anybody who has up those standards, I guarantee you, I can outshoot you. All right, come on, we'll go up to the range anytime, open challenge, and we'll we'll film it and we'll all outshoot you. Because I'm sure you suck at shooting, just like you suck at life. So you should either quit, uh, resign, or learn how to actually be a teacher. Again, a teacher should empower and equip, not crush people's spirits. When someone goes to a, a carry course and they come out and they fail your arbitrary course, uh, they are crushed, they are ruined, and they are never gonna go shoot guns again. They're certainly not gonna come back to your class, and they probably won't go on to learn more about their rights that they have. So you've, you've won, you've ruined someone's day, and two, much more importantly, you've crushed their spirit in that for life. Like, they are wounded for life, and that's your fault. I, I have no respect for you. You don't belong in our industry. Please find something else to do. I think a mall cop or a meter maid job would be a good one for you. Something where you can push some pencils around, feel some power, and then be a good bureaucrat. I just have no idea who you think you, you people think you are. I, I, just none. none. None whatsoever. You can't shoot. You can't teach. Is it just some kind of sick power trip where you picked on in school a bunch and now you need to get back at society? I had one person tell me that, that their spouse passed the written test, which again, made up, completely made up, doesn't exist in my state, uh, but failed the shooting test. Again, completely made up. That shooting test should be a conduit through which you can equip and empower people and not crush them. You're not here to evaluate. You're here to teach and instruct, and apparently you don't understand the meaning of those words, you incompetent hack. If that happened to you, if you went to one of those courses, I'm sorry. I am so sorry that you got suckered in by a charlatan who took your money and had you pay them to abuse you. I, I am genuinely sorry. That That is terrible. That should have never happened to you. Uh, I hope that you go find another instructor who's worth their salt. And I hope that you learn to exercise your rights again and that you you venture back out there because it's got to be scary when you get crushed like that to then have to try to go find a different instructor and risk yourself again and put yourself out there again hoping not to be ground to dust. Uh, please, th th listen, there are plenty of good instructors out there. Go see one and learn to shoot. And really, you're right. These are your rights. They're yours. You have them, period. We are a conduit, we being competent instructors, to help you access and to equip you to use those faithfully. That's our job. That's our job. It's not to put barriers in front of you. And anyone who did that is not a teacher. They're not an instructor. They don't belong in any respectable organization. And I hope that they uh, never teach anybody to shoot guns again. Teach anybody to shoot guns again. Well, I think that's all I'm going to say about that. I think that's that's pretty clear. Do brave deeds. And for you, a brave deed might be going out to find a new instructor. And endure.